Zips Football with Terry Bowden, presented by Wentz Financial Group, is brought to you by Suma Health. It's your health. Let's own it together. Bud Light, the world's famous light beer. Double Tree by Hilton Akron Fairlawn, proud to be the host hotel of Zips Football. By your Akron Canton Bryant Heating and Cooling Dealers. The Spaghetti Warehouse, famous for its 15-layer lasagna. And Wentz Financial Group, investment management for your lifetime. Hello again, everyone. Welcome to another edition of Zips Football with head coach Terry Bowden, brought to you by the Wentz Financial Group. And coach, there is a very happy University of Akron football team celebrating after a huge win over Kent State. The wagon wheel is ours for the third straight year. And, man, how huge it was. I don't know if there's ever been a wagon wheel game with more on the line. I mean, I could feel the pressure throughout the week. It meant a chance to win the wagon wheel a third year in a row, to win the Eastern Division, yeah. to play for the MAC championship, to secure a bowl when six wins might not get you into a bowl this year like it did last year. All that laying on the line, and these kids had to go out there and respond, and wow, they came out there. Huge game for Akron, huge game for these football players, and especially for these seniors. You know, every week we talk about the goals of your program. Uh -huh. They're pretty much all set right now. The only thing you got to do now is, is win that MAC championship and win a bowl game. Everything else has been accomplished. That's, that's right. You know, we're not quite ready to quit yeah. appreciating that victory, but that's exactly right. Now this one becomes even bigger. Right. And who, we won't know who we play in until, uh, uh, I think, Friday, and uh, and then we'll find out who's to be. It doesn't matter because it's for the MAC championship, and it's for a chance, and we'll have a chance to take a few days off and get ready, but it does. It now makes the next one an even bigger goal, but but to have those other three goals, your your conference, right, your rival team, your Eastern Division, going to a bowl, to get those out of the way, now you can focus on that conference championship game, and you know it's going to be against the very best. It's going to sure. be one of the best teams in the conference, but we've responded very well against good teams. Western Michigan, the defending champion. We beat them at Western Michigan. Ohio, the hottest team in the yeah. conference, we beat them. Uh, and then had the, the, the fortitude and the strength to come back and focus enough to come back and make sure we won our arrival game. Well, it's going to be either Toledo or Northern Illinois. We'll find out uh, Friday, but they're two excellent football teams. We'll talk about them a little bit later. But I'll tell you what, that Thanksgiving turkey and dressing is going to taste a lot better today, Coach, after this one, right? Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. With that wheel sitting where it belongs in Akron. It's exactly. awful nice eating that turkey. Let's, got, uh, let's take a look at the first half highlights. Always brought to you by Suma Health Systems. Beautiful night for football. Huge crowd. Students were there having a lot of fun. Got great weather. We've just been so fortunate. A.J. Coney, one of our seniors, making a catch in our opening drive. We start off the right way. 75 yards, we drive down. AJ, I mean, I mean, Cato Nelson making a couple of very nice runs. That's one of them. Making people miss. Getting the ball inside there. Before then he comes back. Makes a nice run again, sees them dropping for the pass, makes another run, makes people miss, gets the ball. Now you can see us down in the red zone. Now we've got to make something happen right now. We roll to the right, watch everybody come to the right, watch. Look at there, look at there, Colby Booker, our freshman, 265-pound tight end on the other side, catches the ball, touchdown, our opening drive. That's how you need to start these games where you're the favored team and you need to put the other team on their heels. Defensively, there's Alvin Davis coming up along with the rest of our defense, making the tackle on that play. Our defense just swarmed around that quarterback. We had to put pressure on him. Look at us come. There's out, outstanding Brennan Williams out of Firestone High School. Here's, here's a, look at there, here's Kato coming for another nice run now. They hold us right there. They come back, make a throw. Nice hit. Kyron Brown right around the ball. He's always close to the defender. The receiver knocks the ball loose. Their quarterback tries to run the ball. Good tackle there by our defense. Brian Rinke out of, out of uh, Copley High School making a nice play there. Great job again putting pressure on. Look at that great job, Justin Sampson uh, from St. Vincent making the play. They kick a long field goal. It's no good. And our defense hold, and we're up 7 to nothing. Now we come back, get the ball in the 30-yard line. We start a second drive. Our second time, Manny Morgan makes a huge play right here. Gets his way down into their territory on our biggest run of the night. And now in our second drive offensively, we seem to have everything clicking. They hold us, but we kick a field goal. 46-yarder, Nick Gasser. At, at one time, only our punter. Now our punter, our kicker, our kickoff. He does it all. Had a great game. We're up 10 to nothing. And the defense continues. Jordan George right here making the play on the reverse. 
Nice job for a loss down. Defense is just dominating right now. As we come up, Jordan George right there, along with our, I don't know who the other players, but a lot of players getting at the ball. A good effort right there. Jamal Davis right there out of Canton McKinley High School. He had a fantastic night playing football for the Zips. And we come back. There's the quarterback, Jamal Davis, again, making the good read. And we got him for a loss again there. Defense continues to dominate. Here's the mistake we make. He throws a, a pass, did not recognize coverage. And Cato throws it, makes a mistake right there, and they're down inside the 10-yard line. And they get, the they get the touchdown off the turnover. The unfortunate thing, I think Cato became a little apprehensive right. at that point. He did right. not want to lose the game and did not play as well as he had played. Manny Morgan come out with a nice run, get us off the goal line, make sure we can punt the ball in good area so we have a chance. They get the ball. You can see them coming now off the 20-yard line. Great. Who's that? Jamal Davis. At Canton McKinley High School, what a great day he had last night. Great night he had last night for us. And we get the ball back. Coming back now in the second quarter, there's a nice throw to Austin Wolf on the outside. Hit a lot of outside cuts. We didn't hit the deep balls. There we are punting back to their defense, but we backed them up again. Who is that? That's Ulysses Gilbert. He made 14 tackles last night. You'll see him around the ball almost every time. Tackles for loss, tackles for loss. We saw that over and over again. Here we come again. Nice pursuit. Ulysses Gilbert pursuing the ball. Nice job for a tackle for loss. That's why he's the preseason MAC Defensive Player of the Year. He'll be there again. Great job by our defense coming on strong again. Ulysses has been around the ball every time. Now we get the ball down. In the last of the second quarter, we get the ball back. Critical third down here. We get the ball inside the 10-yard line, first and 10. There's a minute and a half left. Here we go with 18 seconds left, fourth and one. We make the score to go up 17 to seven. I'm thinking, thank goodness, halftime's over. We've got up 17 to seven. But no, here on the last play of the half, with no time remaining, they run the ball. He fumbles it. We pick it up. Ulysses Gilbert, nobody's going to catch him. He runs the distance to the goal line. Time has expired, but we go in with a second touchdown in 18 seconds to lead 24 to 7. What a big last minute of the first half that was. I'm down on the sidelines with you, Coach, ready to do the halftime interview, yeah. and we're waiting for the officials to make the uh, announcement. I knew how important it was. You're out there with your hands on your knees. You knew how important that call was well, going to be. When you play a team that's had a difficult season, and you need to do something that's just demoralized. To go in that, go in that locker room demoralized. And nothing would yeah. be more demoralized for us to score 14 points in the last 18 seconds. And that's what happened. And that ended up being the difference. We did right. not, we, they dominated our offense the second half. We probably pulled it in too soon. We pulled it in and, and played that lead. But, but that difference was happening in those last 18 seconds. And I kind of knew right then and there we would have had a chance to really go out there and win this football game for sure. You know, there's always some crazy things that happen in rivalry games mm -hmm. all the time. Oh, that's, I mean, it, almost always the, the team that's not supposed to win wins. You're it's right. happened in this game here. I've been a part of it long enough that all of a sudden we lose a game we're supposed to win or we win a game we're supposed to lose. And so you just learn to live with it. And that's almost part of every rivalry game because no matter how the records are, you always play best in your exactly. rivalry game. Zips up by 17. We're coming back with a special feature on the Akron Seniors right after this. The difference with Wentz Financial Group is that we do not have a cookie cutter answer to any of our clients' needs. Every day is completely different in the market and every client's situation is unique. We value the opportunity and responsibility to manage the hopes and dreams of our 3,000 customers nationwide. Come see the difference Wentz Financial Group can make for your financial future. Wentz Financial Group, investment management for your lifetime. I imagine everyone to be my mother, my father. Truly give of yourself, to give of your heart. I just treat them like I would want to be treated. To feel like they're a welcome guest of ours. Being genuine uh, by showing compassion for others. By going above and beyond. You're not just there as a provider, but there to help them on a personal level. With every patient, every day, Suma Health delivers personal, life-changing care. Well, as Zip said goodbye to 24 seniors the other night before the Kent game. Let's meet them right now. Going to the bowl game in 2015. First time for Akron. Uh, to win a bowl game, so it was pretty cool. Going to Boise, Idaho for the Potato Bowl and uh, beating Utah State in our first bowl game. 
of so long. Back in 2015, when we played Utah State in the bowl game, it was one of the first bowl games that we have been to and actually won. The last season uh, against Marshall, it was a real big game against us, and we were down by a few scores, and a lot of people counted us out. And um, I came in second quarter and made a big play, a big sack that led to a touchdown that turned the whole game around. And we ended up winning that game by a good 30 points, a huge margin. And that was just one of the biggest victories I've ever had here at Akron. It's been my best memory by far. When we just beat OU and put us in a position to actually go play for the MAC championship. Seeing Coach Bowden try to catch a punt. <laughs> it was awful. I mean, he fell down. He, we, thought he, we thought he broke his hip. Like. Again. <laughs> I would have to say Penn State, just because of the atmosphere. It's not something we play in every game, so um, I think that was pretty cool. Bowling Green, because that was the first time I actually beat Bowling Green since I've been here in five years. Western Michigan this year, because, I mean, we faced some real adversity out there. Wisconsin in 2016, just because the atmosphere there. After every win, we go in the locker room, sing the fight song as a team. Probably the fight song, surreal. Like, we really get together and sing it and practice it a lot, so. Singing a fight song after the game, so getting with the whole team and actually singing that fight song gets me going. The, the Kent game. Whole Kent week, everything we do for Kent week. Coach, a great group of seniors, they committed to you when it wasn't a cool thing to do. They really did. I think about these guys, when they came in, Akron was coming off three 111 seasons. And we were at the bottom, not just of the conference, right. of the country. And they chose to come here and help us build. And these seniors have been such a great inspiration to this university. Great student athletes, they're going to graduate. They're going to be a part of our alumni. They've been great character. You don't read about them in the newspaper making mistakes. And they just go out and win. This group has never lost less than five, one, less than five ball, football games and now to win the, the wagon wheel four out of the last five years, to go to a bowl for the second time, only three times we've ever done that in Division I, and for the second time in history to play for a MAC championship. I'm just proud of them. It's a great bunch of guys. The character and culture of success and quality that they have has just been an inspiration to me and I think an inspiration to this university. Nice thing about that, they've got two more games left to play for sure. We're going to come back and watch second half highlights right after this. At the Wentz Financial Group, listening to clients, understanding their needs, evaluating their risk tolerance, and finding solutions to help them meet their goals is our ultimate responsibility. Because at the end of the day, we treat every client like their family and manage every dollar like it's ours. Come see the difference Wentz Financial Group can make for your financial future. Wentz Financial Group, investment management for your lifetime. Our strength is our legacy. Boundless innovation, fueled by our tradition. At the University of Akron, our path forward is here and now. Every day, we push ourselves to do what others won't. Akron raises champions. Akron nurtures genius. Because just when you think we're finished, we're just getting started. That's what makes us the University of Akron. Welcome back to Zips Football Head Coach Terry Bond. We're at halftime from the other night's game with Kent State. The Zips up by 17. Little did we know, Coach, after that uh, crazy end of the first half was going to be a defensive struggle in the second half. Had no idea, but so glad that our defense came to play and played so dominantly because offensively it was almost as if we were afraid to lose the game. Right. We were up. Cato had thrown an interception that just wasn't good. Shit. He wasn't hitting the deep ball. And they were able to stuff the run, and all of a sudden we're afraid to take any chances. We're riding a 24 to 7 lead, and we're just going to carry that out as far as we can. Probably pulled it in too much, and uh, could have gone with Tommy Woodson. Very close to going with Tommy Woodson. We'll see what happens in the in the championship game. But uh, nonetheless, the defense came through, and at the end of the game, when we had to run the football, just like we've done in three big That's victories, right. we were able to hold on to the football for five or six minutes, run the clock out, and win the game. Zips up by 17 points. Let's go back to info season. Stadium for second half highlights brought to you as always by Summa Health Systems. They had the ball in the first series, but our defense starts right off the bat. There's Brock Boxing on the tackle. Coming right there, you see right there Andrew Hauser, one of our senior linebackers, making a great play. They come back. It's third down right now. We scramble. Look at Justin Sampson running half the quarterback. Oh, there's a great job. Denzel Butler makes a great interception. Gives us the ball in the 38. A real disappointment. Here we could have. You talk about really icing this game. 24-7. Yeah. We got the ball, but we, have, we, we, get, we go backwards. And we have to punt the football. 
Nick Gasser, maybe the MVP of the game in the way he punted the ball. 45-yard average, but he put about three of them out on about the five-yard line. And a team like Kent State, making them drive 95 yards is critical. Brock Box in there on a gang tackle by our defense. Great job there. Nice job, Alvin Davis coming up from his safety position. Alvin, Alvin's just a sophomore coming up making a play there. Nice job again. Tackling in the backfield. Late fumble. We didn't get it. And uh, just a great gang tackle. They're going to hand the ball off in the middle. Boy, just everybody piling in there, making the big play. I like seeing a lot of bodies around that football. It means we're getting after it. Always putting pressure on that quarterback. Putting pressure on the quarterback. Great job. Brian Rinke out of Copley making the play right there. Coming back, Ulysses Gilbert, of course, making the sack right there. Defense just fighting them. Every time they run the clock, I don't care who runs the clock out when you're winning. I don't care if they run it out or we, as long as he gets run out. Defense making a big play right here, but they're on the one line. They pop the halfback pass right there. They make the touchdown. Now it's 24-14, it's to 14, a 10-point lead. Two-score games are very dangerous because of an onside kick. Now we've got to come back, make a play. We end the third quarter up by 10 points, but we need to get it going on offense. Defense continues to make play after play after play. They know if we don't, they don't score, we win. Defense continues. Here, here's, the, here's the outside screen pass. Great job. Andrew Hauser making the tackle for loss. Come back again. Pressure on that quarterback. Look at us get to that quarterback. Great pressure. Number five is going to come out first. 14 tackles. That was one sack, one of those tackles. We hold the ball and punt again. Look where the ball lands. Great job again. We're about the five-yard line. No chance of, re of a return. Forced Kent State to go 95 yards. Boy, great job, Brian Rinke again. Ulysses Gilbert, those two are coming back another year, as is Brian Bell right there. Nice job, Jamal Davis. He's a junior. He'll be back next year. Nice tackle right there. Defense continue to put great pressure on him. There's, look at there's John Laco, a junior. He's coming back next year, along with Ulysses. Just an outstanding job by our defense, giving us the ball. Now the question is, can we run the clock out? They've got three timeouts left. We're up by 10. We haven't run the ball well all day. We come back now. There's, there's a good five-yard run by Cato. We've got to get first downs and force them to use their timeouts. Van, Edward, Van Edwards comes back, buddy. A nice run right there. You're going to see one of the best drives we had. They knew we wanted to run the football, but they could not stop us. Great effort right there of running through tackles. Another first down. Each time we do that, the clock gets closer to winding down. They're using their timeouts just to get the ball. Another first down by the running attack. Great job blocking by the offensive lineman. Van Edgers making this run. If we could just make one more nice run in there, we're on the five-yard line now. We don't care if we score. And there's that wagon wheel. Game is over. The most prized possession to any Akron football player is hoisting that wagon wheel up above their head, taking it to the student section, taking it to the band, keeping that wagon wheel in Akron. And I know you want to thank all the students and all the fans that oh. came out on a Tuesday night. They were into that they, game. They were. It was an exciting time. Look at some of our players getting up there with the fans. The students are great. We must love so much for them to be a part of this excitement. Our band is always there for us at yeah. the beginning and at the end of each game. We've got the best band in the world. They do such a great job. They're always with us. And we just want to thank everyone. This, this more than I think any place I've ever coached, this wagon wheel is about the fans. It's about everybody right. in the same neighborhood as their fans. Right. It's just such a cross the street. Rivalry. It's a great victory for everyone at Akron. Now it's time for whatever it takes moment of the game brought to you each week by Brian Heating and Cooling. They're going to be talking about this final 18 seconds for a long time. Coach well, the Shea, clock, the clock has run out. It's the, now the clock has run out. There's no time left. They fumble. We pick it up and we run 40 yards for a touchdown. And there's no time on the clock. I'm talking to you on the sideline right. about halftime. <laughs> and I'm sitting there now. I'm waiting because they review all fumbles. So now I'm waiting for the review. Is it a good fumble or was he down? Did he pick it up legally? And everything worked out. When those hands went up, I said 24 to 7. This thing, if we got a chance now, if we'll just do our job to win this football and game. And that was a huge uh, sequence. Right now it's time for Whose Stock is Rising, brought to you each week by the Wentz Financial Group. How about junior defensive end Jamal Davis Kai. from Canton McKinley? What a game he yeah, had, he's, you know, he's, t he's about six foot three, 240 pounds and can run. And, buddy, he should, we moved him from linebacker to defensive end. He's going to be a great one for us now. You know, I got a, t a text from Jason Taylor. Uh, after the game to, to, to tell all of our players congratulations. And this guy plays like old Jason he on does. that sideline, on that on the end of that line. Well, he had uh, five solo tackles, four assists, one forced fumble, and he was, a tackle for a loss. Tackle, he was busy. Tackle for the loss. So proud of uh, his work and what he's done to change positions yep. and have to learn it throughout the season. And you see him playing his best here at the end of the, end exactly, of the season. Exactly, exactly. We're going to take a break, come back, and announce our Players of the Week right after this. 
Sir Jeremy, you are a true friend of the crown. Dilly dilly. Dilly dilly. dilly. Madam Susan, you are an even truer friend of the crown. Dilly dilly. Dilly dilly. dilly. What is that? This is a spiced honey mead wine that I have really been into lately. Please follow Sir Brad. He's going to give you a private tour of the pit of misery. I'm sorry, what? Pit of misery, dilly dilly. Dilly, dilly, dilly. Here's to the friends you can always count on. It takes attention to detail. With your local Bryant dealer, you're getting more than just a technician. You're getting someone who pays attention to your needs and the little things that make a big difference. It takes a dealer you can rely on. And to keep your family warm this winter, here, let me show you how this works. It takes Bryant. Bryant. Whatever it takes. It takes Choice Air HVAC to keep your home comfortable this winter. Find us at choiceair.com. Well, I'll tell you what, just a great game for the Zips. Anytime you beat Kent State and you're a Zip, it's got to be a happy day. Right now, let's take a look at our players of the game, offensively, defensively, and special teams. Manny Morgan, number three or four in the depth chart coach, and boy, he came strong. Didn't he, he? Thought he surely has. What a great job. He got, he got banged up, and we missed him in the second half, but Van came through. But Manny Morgan, longest run of the night, that's huge. Got us down inside there. Got a field goal out of that uh, deal right there. Manny Morgan makes a catch on the screen right here. Makes nine good yards right there. Nice hit he takes. But he did a great job and watch this critical. Fourth and one, we got to have it. Boom, we get it right there. And we, we, we get a score right before the half. Manny Morgan has been a critical senior to this team. Quiet leader by hard work and done a, did a great job and will continue to help us win a few more maybe this year. Defensively, how about uh, junior linebacker Ulysses Gilbert out of Ocala, Florida? Well, we've said so much about him, but he kills, continues to make plays. He was all over the field. He made 14 tackles, numerous tackles behind the line of scrimmage. Recovered a fumble right here. Watch this. He strips it. Watch five. See him right there? Strip the ball. Now pick it up and run it. Beat about the, he did everything. Stripped it, picked it up, ran for the touchdown. And, and just right there, just deflated their football team with that play right there was a hard one. Well, one they could not overcome. Exactly. And your nominee for player of the game is our special teams player of the week, Nick Gasser out of Lakota East High School. No one has made more improvement. He not, not only he makes our field goals, there's a, our extra point right there, I believe, but it's a field goal that he made. Here's the 46-yarder he makes. He wasn't even our field goal kick at the beginning of the season. He was our punter. But I don't think anybody on our team has made more improvement, has been a bigger, and he kicks off for us as well and does a great job there. But probably his punting has been the most phenomenal yeah. thing Amazing. that he's done. I don't think there's anybody in America that punts the ball better. And watch this. Watch where he puts the ball. The old coffin corner kick. Few kick it anymore like this. We, he had three of them go out about the five-yard line. Makes the D offense drive 95 yards every time. And he's really been one of our MVPs. He's coming back. He's just a junior. And he handles all of our kicking. Yeah. Congratulations to those three young men. We're going to come back. Don't know who we're going to play up in Detroit yet. We'll talk about that right after this timeout. I trust them. I've trusted them with my life. I, I don't know if I would be here today without all of their help and their support. <laughs> they were, they were out of this world fabulous. They treated me like I was a guest more than a patient. The caregivers really are the true rock stars, aren't they? Every patient deserves and should have the care that I'm getting at soon. I'm cancer free because of them. With every patient, every day, Suma Health delivers personal, life-changing care. The difference with Wentz Financial Group is that we do not have a cookie-cutter answer to any of our clients' needs. Every day is completely different in the market, and every client situation is unique. We value the opportunity and responsibility to manage the hopes and dreams of our 3,000 customers nationwide. Come see the difference Wentz Financial Group can make for your financial future. Wentz Financial Group, investment management for your lifetime. Well, for your University of Akron football fan, I hope you're planning on being up at Ford Field in Detroit on Saturday, December 2nd. That'll be a noon kickoff against either Toledo or Northern Illinois. Coach, I know you can't wait to get there. I can't wait to get there. I tell you, we've worked hard. These young men on our team, uh, and all the credit goes to them for getting us in this football game. But, you know, that's only one goal to get to the championship game. The bigger prize is to go out there and now 
prepare to win that game. And I know our players have done that all throughout the year, have believed they can accomplish, that believe they can achieve. Now, what we need to see is a bunch of Akron fans. I don't care if you get up at 6 in the morning and That's drive. Right. You can drive that day. Three and a half hours is not that far. And come up there and support us at that football game now. We've waited 12 years since we've been in this That's game. Right. In 12 years, we haven't had a chance, so let's get our fannies out there in those stands and cheer these young men on. There you go. I know there will be a bus trip uh, by the University of Akron, so hopefully it will be an announcement on that. Coach, I'm going to stop right here for a second. I'm not sure when the voting for uh, Matt Coach of the Year is, but you got my vote, bud. You did a great job this well, year. Well, thank you. I'll take that. But you know what? It goes to my coaches. If I could get an yeah. award, I would give it to my coaches. I, any ability I have is to, is to bring out their abilities, there and they're go. the ones that got us win. we got a bowl game preview coming up. But remember, go Zips. We'll see you later. Zips Football with Terry Bowden, presented by Wentz Financial Group, was brought to you by Suma Health. It's your health, let's own it together. Bud Light, the world's famous light beer. Double Tree by Hilton Akron Fairlawn, proud to be the host hotel of Zips Football. By your Akron Canton Bryant Heating and Cooling Dealers. The Spaghetti Warehouse, famous for its 15 layer lasagna. And Wentz Financial Group, investment management for your lifetime.